Is this working? Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna do this by myself. How about if you stand to the side? I don't want anyone seeing you, so I'm just doing this by myself because I don't have a YouTube channel. And honestly, you don't have a YouTube channel, so please stay over there. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm gonna start another story. Um, it's called um, how to put it this way. If I can flip the camera, I can, but I don't know how to flip the camera, because I also have a song for you guys after I'm done just telling you about my, my story. This one's going to be much longer than the previous story I did when I first um, started uh, you, not YouTube, when I, when I started my first transitioning video, and it's going to be very long this time. Yeah. In one sec. Yes? Doing video. Alright. Sorry about that. Back. Okay, so I'm gonna tell everybody about how I feel, who I am, and what I am. This is gonna be extremely long, longer than the one from I did in the, in the past. <clears throat> okay. Alright. My name is Julia Chen. I'm a trans female and I have no support from my family whatsoever. They don't love me. They hate me. Um, <clears throat> my parents divorced in the year 2003 when me and my brother were kids. Um, it, this is all start how it started. Um, when we were kids, my mom and my dad never got along in 2003. And, they, and my dad said that he wanted a divorce with my mom. And my dad and my mom kept fighting and fighting. And my mom kept saying that she didn't want to leave me and my brother that time. And my dad said, if you don't leave, I'm going to sell this house so that um, the kids cannot be able to play here no more. So she said she sacrificed So she sacrificed her own self. We want to say sacrifice, meaning she did us a favor and left my dad's house. Because if she didn't do exactly what my dad said, he would have sold a house and then we don't even know where we go to. So, she did us a favor because she didn't want to make us feel upset when we were kids and play around with our other neighbors and friends. So, what happens is that she left and never came back. And my brother was like, oh, dad, where, where's mom? And then and dad's like, mommy will be back. Don't worry. He lied to him when he was a kid because he didn't want him to know about this. And... I was nine, year, nine years old that time, and uh, he was six, so, no, actually seven, sorry. He was seven, and I was nine. And um, what happens is, um, <clears throat> he didn't tell us the exact truth, and all he said was that when we grow up, we would know. Okay, so that started with that, and um, what else? My, uh... My grandpa was so abusive to me when I was in middle school. He gave me a black eye, and then when I went to school, <clears throat> my principal asked me what happened. Um, I told my principal that I was uh, that I got beat up by my grandpa. You know, I don't stay quiet. If anybody hurt hurts me, I speak up. I'm not like my brother. He's a very quiet person. If he gets hurt, he he just doesn't say anything. He stays quiet. For me, I don't. I never stop talking. I tell people what's going on. And yes, I'm a target, target person. Um, <clears throat> I told the principal, my grandpa beat me up when I was at home and gave me a black eye and because he didn't like what he heard from me. I wasn't trans that time. I was just a normal, I was normal that time. And I was still a kid. And <clears throat> and um, when, my, when the principal called my dad, he told my dad that, how do you? How come you you let your child get beat up by your own grandfather? And then he was like, "If you don't let any, if you don't resolve this problem right now, I will call diapers on you, and I will call the cops." So he, they almost called diapers and had me taken away from them, but they did call the cops, and the cops came that day, and the cops spoke to my dad, and said, "Listen, if you and your grandfather don't stop abusing your child." I'm going to, um, we are going to take, take, take your child away from, from where you live at. <clears throat> if you don't listen to what we say, um, <clears throat> then we're gonna, we're gonna lock you both up and 
this would be considered as child abuse. And this is the United States of America, just know that you're not in China anymore. That's what they told my dad and grandpa. So ever since then, he, haven't, he has not abused me, my grandpa. My dad, he still abused me. Um, he hit me in the year 2011 when we went to um, on vacation. And 2011, what happened is um, <clears throat> we uh, had some sort of a fight on the beach, I guess. And we were going to the Bahamas that time, going on a cruise. And when I got sent in my dad's bag, or he, he just hit me like that. And then he tried hitting my face. And of course, I was a, of course I was sort of a teenager. I didn't know what was going on. And uh, he hit me very hard to the point I was fell to the ground. And my stepmom was there, and he said, oh, what are you doing? Don't be abusing your own older child like that. <clears throat> Why are you doing this? You stop. And that my stepmom was, my that time my stepmom was very, very nice to me. <clears throat> and <clears throat> she supported me no matter what. And um, that was the year 2011, I guess. After that was over, let me get to 2012. 2012, I was, oh yeah, 2012 is the worst. Um, 2012, I was, like, um, in my dad's house, <clears throat> and I turned 18, and I told my dad I was moving out, and that I told him I was an adult, I could do what the hell I want to do, I'm 18 now, I'm not a teenager no more, I'm not a kid, you can't control me no more, at first he didn't agree with me, then after that, he let me go, so I did what the hell I want, so I, so I moved to my mom's house, <clears throat> At the age eight, when I was eighteen years old, and I came around, um, yeah, two thousand eleven, somewhere mid two thousand eleven. It went. I went to her house, and what happens? What happened is that um, <clears throat> I came to her house because I told her that I can't live with my dad anymore. My dad was abusing me, and my dad was hurting my feelings. Can you please take me in? And can you please um, help help me stay with you? And she said, Yes, I'll take you in. So yes, we were having a little, we did have a good relationship together for a while, until mid two thousand twelve, which was in March. I came back from from school from a, from school right, and I went to a nail salon got my my nails and feet done. I came back with that, and she was like, "Oh my god!" She was like, "Oh my god!" And she was like, "What are you doing with a nail polish on? Why do you have a um pedicure on?" She was like. What's going on? And why, why, why do you have nail polish on? And then she was like, "No, that's for nail polish. It's for girls. You know, you know, you're not supposed to have it on." I told her I have to tell. I have to tell you something. I say, "Promise not to be. Promise not to be mad at me when I tell you." And she said, "Yes, you can tell me anything. I promise I won't be mad at you." Okay, so she, so I told her I was trans female, and I wanted to be a girl at that time, and I wanted a sex change, and when my name changed, and I wanted to actually. Be an being get boobs, and then, yes, she said okay, and she was very very scared. She's like, oh my god, do you really want to do that? I said yes, mom, I want to do that. I knew I knew you were gonna I knew you were gonna get surprised. I said, mom, do you hate me? And she said, no no no, I don't hate you. I love you no matter what. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. That was the old that was the old mom. I miss the old mom. So <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Sorry, but that was my alarm. Ignore that. I forgot to turn that alarm off. So sorry. Um, what was I saying? 2013. I was um. What was I doing? 2013. I was still at school, and um, the principal found out I was trans. He knew I was a girl. I came to school wearing a lot of girl clothes. Dressed up as a girl the first time. And he said, "Oh, um, are you okay?" And I said, "Yes, I'm. I'm a. I'm a. I want to be a girl. I'm. I'm trans. I want to be Julia." And then he's like, "I'm. I'm." Oh, he's like, "Okay, I'm fine with it." But he's like, "Just know that you can't blah 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 wear certain stuff at school because I don't want other kids to make fun of you." And I said, "But I'm trans. I'm a girl. I want to be a girl." And I said, "This is who I am." And I said, I'm tired of hiding in this guy clothes. I I'm a girl. I'm a male to, fe male to female. Trans female. I told him that. He said, yes. I'm very accepting of you. And I will not hate you no matter what. <clears throat> and, I and that I just don't want other kids to make fun of you. And I said, and I said, and I said, principal, Mr. V, you, you, you the, the, <clears throat> 
the kids are not gonna make fun of me. If they do, I'll just have to re just brush it off and just deal with it. And I told them this is who I am. I want to be Julia. This is who I am. I didn't know I was trans till I was 18. Okay, <clears throat> and I didn't know this would happen to me till I was 18. And I tried to explain to him. He was very very supportive and accepting. Of course, he let me wear my nail polish, my girl clothes. The one thing he didn't let me do was use the girls' bathroom and um, have my <clears throat> kind of like hairband on. But he said I could tie my hair back like uh, like this. But I didn't know how to do it that year because I was still um, getting used to the getting used to me being who I was. And um, of course, he was very supportive, and he said he has no problem with me being trans and going to school dressing up as a girl. He just says that he doesn't want anyone to make fun of me, or bully me, or pick on me. And I told him it's alright, I deal with it. And he said, no, it's not alright. I don't want you getting yourself a bully. I said, like, and I said, like, can I please talk to the director then? I told the director, and I, she, she said it was alright, and she said I can wear my clothes. And, she, and then I told my, my favorite teacher, and I, and she said that she and she said I that I I could do it. She talked to the principal a few times because the principal was um very mean to me. But at that time, me and the principal never had a good relationship. But when, then after that, me and the principal had a lot of good relationship together. And then after that, I graduated from high school, <clears throat> got my high school diploma, moved on. All right. <clears throat> now let me get to the let me get to the part where how my parents hated me, and I'm going to look, get to the part where <clears throat> I've been disowned. If you're watching this, when I post this on YouTube, I want you guys to know that you are not alone, and I am always going to be there to support you no matter what. Um, I'm a trans I'm a trans female. I run a LGBT, GLBT support group. I run online. My Facebook is Julia T. Chen. Feel free to add me on Facebook, and... Have any questions? Um, message me on my YouTube channel, which is Princess Leia 101. And yes, I'm not really Princess Leia, but I might be the next Princess Leia. You never know. But she's my favorite character. And um, <clears throat> or you can or you can just add me on Instagram. My Instagram is um, what is it? My Instagram is. God, sorry. Let me check my Instagram. I'm so sorry. Can't remember damn Instagram. Sorry about that. I tend to change my Instagram a lot. I'm so sorry. My Instagram, my Instagram is taken by Sierra and my girlfriend forever. You can add me. You guys can add me on my Instagram. That's my Instagram. And um. Also, um, those are the three, three, three places you can find me and add me, and when I see it, I will, I will accept you right away. If I don't see it, it means I'm away from my computer, or I'm sleeping, or I'm doing something, so. Anyways, that's all I want you guys to know. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get to the other part now, as I, as I promised. <clears throat> okay, um, my, um, my mom and dad are not accepting me of who I am because I'm trans. Of course they lied, they disowned me, and, um, they left me, they betrayed me, everybody turned, they turned their backs on me, they turned against me, started calling me names, and started actually harassing me, and started putting me down a lot. So my mom is one of the people I want you guys to know what she did to me, but I don't want to say, like, too much of, um, like, <clears throat> something that will make me in trouble. But I'm just gonna say what I gotta say. Because if she's going to watch this, I don't want her to know that I'm talking something very, very, very um, bad or threatening about her. So I'm not going to get to that point. <clears throat> okay. So, um, my mom is so very ignorant and very judgmental. She does not support me whatsoever. And she's very, very mean to me. And every time I try to tell her of... When I try to tell her this is who I am... Um, and she didn't accept me. So 2015, I moved out of her house, and um, I got into a big argument. Which 2015 was much worse than 2012. 2012, I ended up in the psych hospital once because UMD and J, which was in Middlesex County, I ended up in UMD and J was because I told 
um, that time. I told the principal that I cut myself, <clears throat> and uh, he believed me, so <clears throat> he called my mom and said that if you don't have a if you don't have a note from the doctor, <clears throat> your child is no longer back at my school. That's what the principal told my mom. <clears throat> so she sent me to the to the psych hospital because they think something's wrong with me. So I was there for one night and came back the next day I was so depressed. And they put me on my medications. And <clears throat> hold on one sec. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take a little little bit of a small break. Usually I had to take a break in between videos. <clears throat> so anyways, I was gonna say um 2000, 2012 wasn't that bad. Um, of course, I was in the, in the psych hospital for a while. I didn't come back. I came back. I was depressed. So, um, I did run away in 2012. I started wearing a lot of girl clothes, and my mom didn't like it. So I goes to I went to the store, and I stole from my dad's 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 house. Stole five hundred dollars so I could purchase some girl clothes and clothes. And I rode my bike down there in 2012. Bought a lot of girl clothes and. I had $500, so basically I spent like money in clothes, money in Toys R Us, and money everywhere else. And <clears throat> basically, that's what I did. And basically, because because I was because I was mad and I hated my dad at that time, I still hate him. I still hate him right now, as of now, <laughs> and I'm still not talking to him. <clears throat> and um, I bought a lot of clothes, I wore it, took it to my mom's house. When she saw it, what she did was she either returned them. Or she just threw it in the garbage. That's what she did. That's how ignorant she was. Very, very, very mean. Okay, now I'm gonna get to the 2015 price. Okay, 2015 was um, <clears throat> like two years ago. Um, this is where I am now. This is Mercerville. I'm in this. I'm in the supervised housing. Um, you can see my bedroom's different and it's much bigger. But yeah, and <clears throat> also. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys that my mom was so ignorant still. She's still the same from 2012. She hasn't changed a bit. I can't change her. She can't change me. And <clears throat> also, I wanted to say that I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm here to stand up for myself. I'm a strong girl. I'm, I'm tough. I'm a resistant fighter. That's my title. And I'm not afraid to <clears throat> support anybody else who has been put down by anybody, family members, friends. People out on the streets, whatever. And <clears throat> I have a bracelet there. Bracelet says here says um, stop bowling now, which is right here. We can't see it because I'm wearing it. <clears throat> and basically, I got that bracelet from a <clears throat> from a workshop because they're handing out bracelets. So I got that one. And I don't stand. I can't stand against discrimination and bullying. So. Um, <clears throat> also, I wanted to say that my, um, mom, she's just very, very, very ignorant, very, very hateful, very judgmental, and she has no right to, to keep hating on my stuff. And I'm going to tell you exactly what happened in 2015, okay? 2015, alright, I was at her house, I was depressed again. So, she and I got into a lot of fight in 2015. 2015 was a really bad year. So, basically, I was still talking to my dad that time. And I didn't dis disown my dad. Or he didn't disown me until <clears throat> in the middle of 2016. That's when he said he doesn't care what I come or not. <clears throat> so, um, I wanted to say that my um, mom, she was so mean. She was so mad and... I was going to my dad's house that day to see my stepbrother, and I also see my stepbrother, and my stepbrother was there, and I said that, when are you guys coming to pick me up, I need to come to your guys' house right now. My mom is disrespecting me, she's hurting my feelings, she's giving me a hard time, can I please come? Okay, so I was wearing, that time I was wearing my girl clothes, and she saw it, and she's like, listen, <clears throat> if you're going to wear this stuff in my house, you're not allowed back here anymore, and <clears throat> you will not... Welcome back here, and we want you to go find somewhere else to live yourself. So I told my mom, okay, I will find somewhere else to live. When I do, you're the one who's going to regret it, not me. 
and her wish came true, and mine did too. <clears throat> so, I called the cops <clears throat> the next day, and I told the cops I was depressed. And the night before I called the cops, my burst, my burp, <clears throat> My brother, <clears throat> my brother sent me back home and took me from my dad's house to my mom's house. And basically, she's like, he's like, I'm sorry. He was like, yeah, I'll take you home. And I say, and I was like, can you talk to my mom when we get home? Yeah, he's like, yeah. Let's see what happens. I will take you home. Yeah, I was with my I was with my brother that one night. <clears throat> and when I got home, you wouldn't believe what she said to me. He she's like, she's like. How, why did you why did you let the stranger in? You know we don't accept strangers in our house. Why is the stranger here? Tell tell them they're not welcome back in my house. And basically my mom kept going on and on. <clears throat> so I got so pissed off and I said, Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me alone. So I hit my hand like this. Hit the cutting board. Broke my right hand. Had a cast on the next day. Came back from the JFK hospital. And I told the JFK people, I don't want to go back to my mom's house. Please, can I stay with you? They say, if I had a place, um, I would let you stay, but I'm sorry. So I went back the second day after I came back from the hospital. I was depressed. And I called the police. And I told the police that I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to jump off a bridge. And I don't want to live no more. So they came and took me to the hospital. And I asked the police, am I coming back? And they said, yes, I'm coming back. So... I didn't know I was going to another state or county. If they told me I was going to another state or county, I would have took my backpack with me. And <clears throat> I would have took my stuff with me. All my bracelets and stuff. Well, I want stuff at my mom's house. <clears throat> so that don't matter to me anyways. Alright, I'm taking a little break. I'll be right back. Let me just pause this. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> okay. I also want to say... That um, my um, mom, she's not a very nice person. She's not a kind of hard person. Um, she's only there for me when she needs to be. Like whenever she's, whenever I'm out of money, or whenever I need to go to the doctor, or whenever I need food, or whenever I need something for my birthday, she's there for me. But other times, she's never there for me. So like say, I like say, I say if I have to. Um, go to the store, and I told her I want to serve some of that girly. She would either make an excuse saying, oh, you have enough already, or, oh, I don't have the money for our, oh, um, I don't have time right now. She always makes up an excuse, because she knows this is what I want, so she wants to be ignorant back, so, and she wants to be so judgmental towards me. So, that's why I left my mom's house in the year 2015. And why I ended up in Mercerville, which is here right now. And um, also in 2015, um, I, I, I attempted to jump off a bridge. And I also attempted to actually cut myself. And I said that I want to actually kill myself. And I, didn't, I don't want to live no more. So, yes, I went to three different hospitals. Um... The first one was U of D and J, which I went in 2012, and then I said I wasn't coming back. <clears throat> so, I went to uh, Monmouth, what's it, hospital, shit. I went to a Monmouth County Hospital, I went to a Monmouth Hospital, I forget the name. And then I went to Trenton Psych Hospital, which is the third hospital they sent me to. And that was not a nice place to go, because I was a state hospital, and they said they could find me have housing. They could help me find housing, and that <clears throat> they could help me get out of where I'm living with mom. <clears throat> and they asked me several times, do you want to live, do you want to live with your mom? And I said no, and I don't want her visiting me, I don't want her seeing me. I want her out of my life for the rest of my damn fucking life. So she does not listen to me at all. And from that, from from this day on, <clears throat> she's still the same as from before. <clears throat> and this is 2017, and I'm also gonna tell exactly um, 
<clears throat> what happened in 2017. I have a lot to say more than I do in those other two years. Okay, so I moved. So when I moved into this house uh, in mid August 2015, um, everything was fine. I liked it here. People were nice until I got to know them well, know my housemates well, to the point where I have to actually say I want to leave because I don't like it here. And basically, everyone here was it was very mean to me as well. So let's get to the point. So I'm gonna get to the point, <clears throat> saying that um my um mom came to visit me in my house and I let her in and I let her come in so she can do her whatever thing she gotta do like buy me food or <clears throat> give me money. But she's never there for me because she's only there for me with that song for that part. She's not. She's not a good parent. She's not a nice mom. And I wish that I was not born with my mom. I wish I had a different mom or a different dad. I can't choose my parents because I was born with the. I was born with them, and I can't change that. And what I can do is, um, leave my parents and disown them because I'm. They're really getting me toxic. My mom's giving me lots of toxic. So. What I did was, I blocked her last night, so she's gonna stay blocked from my phone for a while. Because she doesn't understand what the hell I've been going through. And she doesn't know what the hell it means to be trans. And she doesn't know what the hell it means to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, asexual, or whatever whatever you call it. She thinks it's, she thinks it's wrong to be be gay, or transgender, or even lesbian, bisexual, and she is, she is so old school that she's against this kind of stuff, so I hope that I don't have to see my mom again, I don't want to see her again, I want her out of my life completely, I want to do everything myself, I don't need her, I don't want her, I want her out of my life completely, She all he, she does is make my life worse, all she does is cause trouble, all she does is cause drama, all she does is do toxic towards me, and all she does is fucking hurt my damn fucking feelings. And she doesn't fucking care how I feel. She only cares about herself, that's it. She don't care about my fucking life, she don't care about my fucking lifestyle, she don't care about all of my fucking, my fucking feelings when I'm upset. She's only there for herself, that's it. She's She only cares about her old fucking culture, that's it. Her old fucking, old son fucking lifestyle. That's, your, that's all she fucking cares about. So, that's why me and her cannot get along. And that's why me and her cannot stay together. It's a good thing I moved to her house. Because if I didn't move to her house, guess what? I would have been dead a long time ago. I would not be living this life right now. I'll be gone and dead because of my fucking mom. So from this day on, I'm never talking to mom ever again. I blocked her on my cell phone. She's gonna stay blocked until I say she's gonna be unblocked. And she's not allowed back to my house either because the way she treated me yesterday when I went to Pennsylvania was yesterday. And basically, she's so ignorant, she would never even let me carry my purse, and she's making up an excuse, saying, Oh yeah, people are going to think you're shopping. And I said, like, people are not going to think I'm shopping. I'm using a damn bathroom. You're just mad because you don't want me to use a fucking girl's bathroom. Because you think something bad will happen to me. You're, you're, you, you are fucking ignorant, you know that. You, you don't even give me, you don't even want me to go there. You said you accept me no matter what and love me. Your words mean nothing to me. You're just a fucking liar. You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking slut. You don't know anything better. Anything better. You're you're so you're so uneducated. You don't even know how to actually um, stand up for anybody else who's different than you. You think it's okay to discriminate and judge others because they're different than you, and you think it's okay for a woman and man to go out together. But then again, you don't think it's okay if a, if a guy and a guy, or a girl and a girl, or if a guy likes a girl, girl and a girl and a guy, or if a girl likes a girl and a guy, you think that's wrong. That's nothing wrong. If you're happy with who you are, 
Just be happy with who you are. If you like who you want, who cares? It's 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 your it's life, and that's as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. So I also want to say, my mom is a fucking fucking hater. She all she does is hate hating on stuff is different. So I also want to say, um, you haters make me stronger. You haters make me more powerful than ever. If you're gonna keep discriminating against me, if you're gonna keep hating against what I do or what I swear or what way I talk, you just make yourself look bad in front of the crowd. Because you know why? You're just gonna embarrass yourself even more because I can tell everybody else, no, I'm not I'm not her son. I'm her I'm a trans daughter. That's all I'm gonna say to embarrass her even more. And I'll say, yes, I'm Julia, I'm a trans daughter, I'm a her daughter. That's what I'm gonna do is embarrass her more. And I say, yes. I'm gonna say that my mom's a liar, all she does is lies, all she does is talk shit, all she does is want drama, and all she does is always want something bad for me to happen. She's never there for me, she doesn't love me, she doesn't support me, all she does is put me down, bully me, discriminate against my will, against my rights, and hurt my feelings, because she's, she's a fucking ignorant slut, that's what she is. So... Hopefully, I don't see her again, and I don't want to see her anymore, because all she does is, is always make me angry, make me sick, make me stressed, make me depressed, and all this other stuff. The reason why I got a mental illness is because I have delusional, I have a delusional family. Both my mom and dad are very delusional. When I say I came from a delusional family, is that my dad, when I was younger, he was very abusive towards me and my brother. He banged the fucking table like this. He kept doing it. He scared me. I was very scared at that time. And I was very, very, very um, upset. And I said um, that I want to go to sleep. And I'm kind of please go to sleep. I'm scared. And my mom was scared. And she didn't call the police. I don't know why. She should have called the police on him that day. I don't know why she didn't call the police. I mean, she, she should have. And maybe that time my parents were stood together. They weren't completely divorced yet. But my dad did leave my mom's house a few times. And he came back a few times as well. Because um, basically, my mom had my old house before. And my dad was living in an apartment for a while. And he came back and he, and he told my mom that he wanted to house to himself, and that if she didn't do as what he said, that he would sell the house, and we might move somewhere else where we're away from our childhood friends. And also, I wanted to say that I'm not afraid to stand up for myself, I'm not afraid to be me, I'm not afraid to support anyone else, and I'm not afraid to, to actually, um, Support others who are put down by their own family, friends, or anybody who's ignorant. So, to your haters and ignorant people out there that don't like us because we're different. Oh, did I ever tell you? You just make me more. You just make us more stronger. The more hate you kill us, the more stronger we get, and the more stronger we get, and the more of us we will come, and we will take you down one by one. Or to make matters worse, we have a lot of friends that that served in, that served in the military, and had a lot of friends or people who actually do stuff as being transgender or whatsoever LGBT. If you, if you don't like us, then leave. If you kill one of us, we will kill one of you as well. That's how it is. What goes around comes around. And also, I want to say that, um, one last thing I want to say before I end this, before I play that video, is that I'm not af afraid of no one, I'm fearless, I'm a strong girl, I don't care who it is, I'm not afraid of no one. I'm a fighter, and I'm a resistance. So, no matter how many times my mom or anybody <clears throat> put me down, I would not back down, and I'm going to keep fighting until I win. That's all for tonight. If you guys want, if you guys <clears throat> want more of us, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will do more. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.
Thank <laughs> you. 